Welcome to Granny's Book Nook. Today's story is Arthur's Halloween by Mark Brown. It was the night before Halloween. Arthur's family was busy making the house look spooky. It looked so spooky, in fact, that Arthur had trouble falling asleep. Things were even worse the next morning. Help! screamed Arthur when he opened his eyes. It's just me, said his sister D.W. Boy, are you jumpy. Don't forget, you have to take me trick-or-treating tonight. Do I really have to? asked Arthur as he ate his cereal. You really do said his mother. And I want to go to every house, said D.W. Arthur groaned. I'll be the only one who has to drag his baby sister along. Arthur didn't recognize anyone at school. There was a giant robot in his classroom taking attendance. You sound just like my teacher, Mr. Marco, said Arthur. I am your teacher, said the robot. The only one Arthur recognized was the brain. He was wrapped in aluminum foil. I'm a baked potato, said the brain. Francine passed out special morning snacks. Eat these, she said. They're bat wing brownies and vampire blood. Everyone ate them, but Arthur. Then they all put on blindfolds. Buster passed around bowls he said were filled with human eyeballs, hearts, and brains. Arthur turned pale. When it was his turn, he wouldn't even touch them. What a scaredy cat, said Francine. Chicken, said Muffy. They're only peeled grapes, jello, and cold spaghetti. When it came time to go trick-or-treating, Buster knew which houses to skip. Don't go there, he said. They only give apples. Gross, said Francine. And don't go to the big house on the corner, said Buster. That's the witch's house. My brother saw someone go in there last Halloween, and he never came out. Arthur tried not to look afraid. Arthur and his sister had trouble keeping up with the others. First, D.W. got her tail caught. Then, her bag broke. You're such a pain in the neck, said Arthur. D.W. must be short for dimwit. But D.W. didn't answer. Arthur turned around just in time to see her disappear into the witch's house. Arthur's hands turned ice cold and his heart began to race. He walked up to the spooky old house. The front door was open, just a crack. Slowly, Arthur went inside. Look! cried Buster. Arthur just went into the witch's house. She'll probably put Arthur and D.W. into her oven, just like Hansel and Gretel, said Sue Ellen. Maybe she's using them for weird science experiments, said the brain. I bet she locked them in the cellar to starve, said Buster. Maybe we should follow him, said Francine. Maybe we should call the police, said Muffy. Everyone was too scared to move. Inside the house, it was very cold. Arthur thought he saw ghosts all around him. He walked down a long, dark hall. At the end, he saw a light under a door. He heard voices. One was his sister's. Oh! There you are, 
said the witch. We were waiting for you. I came to get my sister. We have to go. I hear my mother calling us, said Arthur. I don't hear anything, said D.W. My name is Mrs. Tibble. I hope you won't leave without some cider and donuts first. Dear Chocolate, your favorite, said D.W. I've waited all night for trick-or-treaters, but you're the only ones, said Mrs. Tibble. Years ago, our doorbell never stopped ringing. Maybe it's broken, like the windows, said D.W. Mrs. Tibble nodded. It's harder for me to keep up with this big place these days. Maybe if we help you fix up your yard, the place won't look so spooky, said Arthur. Arthur finished his donut as Mrs. Tibble opened the door and turned on the porch light. She gave Arthur and D.W. a big hug. See you Saturday to rake leaves, said Arthur. You're still alive, said Francine. I can't believe you went in there alone, said the brain. You're so brave, said Sue Ellen. What's in the bag, asked Buster. Probably eyeballs, hearts, and brains said Francine. It's easy to find out, said Arthur. Just close your eyes and reach in, unless you're too scared. We've been to every house now. Can we take the shortcut home through the cemetery? asked D.W. The cemetery? On Halloween? Are you guys crazy? asked Francine. Follow me, said Arthur, as he marched ahead. The cemetery is a great place. People are just dying to get in. Thank you for visiting Grammy's Book Nook. To get more information for this book, check the description box below. Be sure to thumbs up this video. Click the subscribe button for the latest videos on Grammy's Book Nook.